Yep, will do. Ready for release. And deck, Hercules is away. Roger. Herc's heavy. Uh, we're just Should heavy. be Trevor's calculations. I don't know. I don't know. Just thrust up. Yeah. Why did... Oh, okay. Deck, tether is all out. Roger. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna zero all the wraps. Okay, yeah, cool. Roger. All wraps zero. Nice one. And just back in the touch. Oh, and see, your CTD is on. CTD is on. Is it on? Okay. I just turned it on. Still a fair bit of current there. I'm having to pull a stern uh, really hard. He's he's streaming ahead. Yeah, I know, but oh. point three. Yeah, right. <coughs> what depth are we going to? Six hundred and something, I believe. This is an audio right. slight for dive H nineteen eighty eight. UTC time is nineteen right, zero nine Roger. two eight mark. That's us left surface. Uh, the dive plan says 644. And deck, Atalanta's in the water. Roger. Just give me a shout whenever you get some. You ready for dive salvo? Yeah. Uh, gauges are good, GFI yep. is good. Twelve meters. Nice Roger. and tight. Looks like we got nav? Question mark? Got nav. Beauty, thank you very much. Oh, look at all them jellies. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Oh, that's a lot yeah. of little jellies. That's like, They're like baby wheel guys. buffet. <laughs> yeah. 30 meters. Roger. Just slowing down a bit. Yes, sir. I'm well ahead of you. <laughs> oh, you are. They might get it tonight coming up. Yeah. You want to tilt the camera down, mate? I'd be oh. How did it get up there in the first place? Uh, I was watching, I was looking at the bottles. Were you? Three dives. It's a jellyfish. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm just going to slow down again because I'm quite a ways ahead here. Yep, just waiting on them. They're only going 15. Which is standard. Boom. You can zoom in just ahead of everything there if you want to, Pete. Copy. Even the uh, Magnum? Right there. Okay. And yesterday, uh, they had me zoom in on Ad Atlanta a little bit. Do you guys like that as well, or do you want to keep it where it's at? Just to get the box a little tighter. On Ad Atlanta? Yep. Oh, yeah, you can do whatever you like on that. Yeah, they had it zoomed a little bit so you could see the see Herc a little better. Sure. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out when we get down there. But yeah, that's that's not a bad. Yeah, got her. Ooh, does a run away, run away. Just turn the tilt off. All those little fishies are gone that we saw last night. See it? Camera tilt. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones that were on the surface? Yeah. Yeah, wow, there was this. a ton of them. All right. That's 70 meters. Deck. All stop at 75 meters. Control has been sent. Roger. Thanks for a great last launch. You guys. Continuing down, Dave. Yes, sir. And what can we do? 30? Any speed you like, mate. Take your pick. As last dive. You, you get to dive. We get to, I get to choose. Yeah. Personally. <laughs> Just don't tell Trevor. <laughs> 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meow. <laughs> It says in the dive plan there's supposed to be a vertical transect. Okay, I'll match you at 24 for now, yeah? Um, at 25, 26-ish, yep. Yep. Where's our dive chief? Should be dark. I see, no, start recording video, video. Yeah. start dive log, confirm divers for ROV navigation, operational, descent ROV lasers following the vertical transect protocol, descent rate at 10 meters a minute for full depth. So there you go. Stop. It's not your choice, I'll Josh. Stop. Yep, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. we got to go 10 meters a minute. This is why there should be a dive chief. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. this is what happens when you're unsupervised. Yeah, if you uh, let ROV do, do what they want, we're just going to go wrong. 10 meters a minute. <laughs> 10 meters Roger. a minute. Okay, right. coming down. 10 meters a minute. How are we supposed to like, do stuff when we're not told? It's in the dive plan. <laughs> well, we have been issued a dive that? plan. No, we got one. Yeah. Have we? Yeah, she has it over there. I have it. Yeah. doesn't matter. Oh, it's okay. our job to interpret it. It was given to <laughs> the adult please. in the room, apparently. <laughs> Who's the adult? I don't know. The navigator usually. Yeah, usually <laughs> an honorary adult here. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, ten meters a minute there, Dave. Slowing down a little bit so I don't get ahead of you. The adult should be the science lead there. Are there enjoying the sunshine? You mean the dive the chief is supposed to be in here? Yeah. Yeah. He's starting to really get on my nerves, that Dirk. Not doing his job, um, never comes in here for launches and recovery. Wait, is he on the sense. deck? I can't tell if that's him in the corner. Oh, no, that's not, Josh. Yeah, that's not him. He's probably just sitting playing bugs. Or yeah, crib. that's the problem. Do your job. <laughs> all right, all right. They are the no, don't force Josh all. to read, heaven forbid. 
Okay, catching up, Dave. <laughs> oh, we had a postdoc once. She was she was always honest about our transects, like. Every well, transect, she was in the van and just right. like monitoring us, like we were rogue children. Which you mean doing her job? Yeah, like doing her job. Are. And it, we, she got great data. Exactly. And yeah. And did we complain about it? Yes, but it was amazing because it was <laughs> it was done exactly right. So I appreciated Let's her. Just don't forget that we're actually out here because we don't really fit in it anywhere else. <laughs> so we go and hide out here from the rest of society for six or seven months a year. Yep. The misfits. We just all hang out together. <laughs> Josh, did you get your jokes out earlier? Oh, there's never enough jokes. Jokes? You were saying at the beginning of your watch, you said it's our last dive. We got to get all the jokes out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been telling jokes all morning, so <laughs> probably all got them all out. But uh, yeah. Uh, well, I told the bear one. Remember? Yeah, you told the bear I one. I didn't understand one. it. I think yeah. I didn't hear the <laughs> last part of it. Uh oh, uh. that's my joke. My whole life is a joke. <laughs> 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 what do you call it when a bunch of killer whales make music? An orchestra. Uh, uh, I was like, killer or <laughs> death what metal. Do you call, <laughs> what do you call a dive chief that doesn't do his job? Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in? Oh no. No, it's, it's Trevor. <laughs> We are descending. <laughs> Where's the skittles? Somebody needs to sweep. <sighs> oh, I don't know. What do you need? There's a bag of skittles in here earlier. Oh, it, they were Danny's, so I don't know if he came by to collect them. Oh, no, he did it. He's still sleeping. Okay, he definitely did it. Maybe they finished them off. Oh, here. Oh, you found them? <laughs> no. Wait, there's only one? There's only one. No, no, no. What? No, 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 no. No, no. You need no, no I know you love those. No, no, you need it, though. <laughs> you need a little bit of sweetening in this dive. I was going to say, I see a bag of Werther's back here. Sure? Werther's? Okay. No. <laughs> Wait, what is now. that? Those aren't Skittles. You're lucky, Dirk. Yeah, the last pineapple. Oh, those are good. I know. I remember when I used to be able to fit into spaces like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hi, Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Thanks for sh thanks for showing up. I mean, it's nice Here. to have you. <laughs> yeah. So those are the same things, aren't they? The same sentence. 
Watch Dirk tell us we don't need to do a transect. <laughs> we were unaware of yeah. transecting. Um, yeah, but we're doing one now. I hope we're supposed to be. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we started the transect at like 100 meters. Yeah. Well, we don't ever start till 75, so. Right. Minus 25 meters. Yeah, between friends. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing this time, Dirk? Well, we've got a few things to do. Um, the biggest one is recover that fish acoustics, kind of a two-wire operation. Um, we're doing some push cores, larval traps, this transect, and then recover a hydrophone. Oh, on the porch? Yeah. So the hydrophone recovery. What are we doing in the next two and a half hours? Uh, the first one is the uh, prepping the auxa or prepping the fish acoustics platform. Maybe recovering. Okay. I don't know if we'll get to the recovery with the wire and all that. Maybe not. On our on our two no, I don't think that's supposed to be done for quite a few hours. What's that? The two wire ops. Don't know. I think getting it on deck sooner rather than later is probably a better I thing. I totally agree. During what? daylight is right. at least. But I mean, we got it. We got nine hours of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw you back there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't forget. No, no, that's part. It's all part of the same thing, I think. Always entertaining.
Hey, Dirk. You got any riddles? You're muted. Um, yeah. Any new riddles? Yeah, I thought you were training for uh, dad jokes. Oh, riddles or dad jokes? No. Or? I'm thinking like puzzle riddles. Oh. <laughs> do I, I go for some dad jokes, but... I don't have those. Those you kind of just have to do on the fly. The dad jokes. Yeah, yeah. I think they. Those you have told any recently that really stood out? You can share. No. I'm a big fan of sharing jokes that other people weren't privy to. Oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't have any good ones recently. Um, let me think of a riddle though. There's you, been some good riddles r rumbling around lately. You've done the it? hat riddle, obviously. Done the hat riddle, yeah. Yeah, I thought that one was quite challenging. Oh, took me a while to get. Um, what are the riddles? We got the bucket one. I just heard the parrot door one. Yeah, I didn't figure out the parrot door one yet. No? Well, right. I haven't had a chance to think about it. Roger. I saw the mola mola's outside, I so we're going to Very oh. jealous you saw mola mola. They're still out there. <gasps> right now? Yeah, they're just behind the boat. Three of them. Go Most get them. I know. Not? Megan, you want to? Mola mola. They're three all what by one fish? albatross. Yeah. And just, they're small ones. They're only like maybe two, three feet long each. So they're little guys. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at starboard camera. Nineteen eighty-eight. That was a fine year. Yeah. Oh, the starboard camera. Maybe. Are they? Is it, are they still there? Or are they gone? Uh, Even with the binoculars. Oh, you know, with the, the binoculars. binoculars. There's a, yeah. there's a couple. There are a couple wait, sets. Of, my binoculars are back there. Oh, okay. By the hot tub deck. Last I saw them. Okay. The cold tub. The tepid tub. I guess in this area of the world, it's cold tub. You mean the polar bear plunge? <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's from the person that lives in Hawaii. Yeah, well. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. It was I'll wait to, to get in the ocean when the it's, uh, you know, a nice of the 28 oh. degrees. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to Guam. Oh, yeah. yeah. Over there somewhere. Well, it's nice and warm. Yep. It's a good camp. Port. Five days in a hotel before the job starts. So oh, nice. Oh, aft, aft, but on the port side. Okay. Get myself off the beach for a while. Mm hmm. Do you dive? So, yeah. Quite far back, but I heard part the of the scuba diving is really nice. Conglomerate there. That's part of the plan. If we get the time, we'll get diving. There? Yeah. That's what I do. I'd be like, yeah, I'm diving. Oh. Ooh. Ignore that, we just suddenly started going down really quick. Ignore, I'll catch yeah, it. Yeah, Roger. Kay. That's a good zoom on that camera. Wow, oh, it goes further back, too. Oh, okay, look at that that little group there of albatross. It's kind of, should be around there-ish. You can tell because of all the albatross that normally sit around them. And you see their fins kind of flapping in the... Can't see. I have no idea how those animals like continue to live, but I appreciate them. Albatross? No, the the mola mola. Oh, they even showed up last night with all the. the you were awake for that, right? Yeah, all the, all the fish. Yeah. Yeah, they even there were even like two of them around for that. Really? I don't know how they even. Fight what do they the eat? Current. I think the they eat plankton. jellyfish, don't they? Okay. Oh, plankton. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of useless um, when it comes to like doing fish-related things. Nice. Do they? Uh, what are their predators? Um, peop uh, animals just come by and like take bites out of them. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, they they can't really swim very fast. I don't think people really eat them. Not, not at, not at all around. I think they're full of like parasites and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. They they don't go very fast, so, so they just get settled on by a whole bunch of parasites and snacked on by whoever passes by. Are you talking about the mola mola? Yeah, oh, yeah. They were the telling the sunfish. Me back right. there, yeah. So they just kind of the float with the current. The last seagoing job I had in the navy 
Are you coming up, Dave? Yeah, so, yeah I was, sorry. Okay. Well spotted. Down is up and up is down. Down is up, up is down. Was fisheries protection. Mm hmm. And in the Bible for that, it's a thing called the Book of Fish. And it describes the sunfish as a crap swimmer. <laughs> yeah. The youngsters are really, really fast, but as they mature, get older, they mm -hmm. just can barely move. Oh, the youngsters are fast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's me why I was like, I feel like there were three of them essentially a fin width apart, like all with each other. So it's weird that they school like that. Oh, yeah. yeah probably for protection. When you're small, you got to find ways to protect yourself. Yeah, if they're only a couple of feet, they're still quite young. Yeah, they like boogie board size, smaller. <laughs> boogie board. <laughs> Body board, I don't know. Yeah, they get to be pretty huge in the UK. Yeah, I've seen some big ones here too, but these are tiny. Still probably the biggest fish we saw all the trip. But. Still holding out for my halibut. Yeah. yeah, that's too bad. We haven't seen them yet. Do they come out this far? Yeah, they do. Uh, well, at Upper Slope, you see them. Like, oh, the one right. time we saw like three as we we're digging up the caisson. Look at that thing in Atlantis. Oh, Siphonophore? Big siphonophore, yeah. It's a massive one. Weird. Oh, look at the one. Oh, whoa. That's, a, that's probably the most solid looking one I've seen. I was going to say, it's interesting <laughs> that it doesn't change shape considering we're kind of mid-water. It's oh, not I'm more sure flyly. It it's not super fast like a jelly or something. Are they, so could they like kind of, if they kind of those, the length overlap with each other, can it like fuse and form circles or is it actually a solid one body string? Uh, it's just one string. So they can't like, oh, the strings touch each other, so now they're part of that. No, not really. They don't do that. So it is an animal. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's actually a colony of animals that all have specialized jobs. Kay. So the bells at the front are the swimming bells, and, and so they all, all they do is swim. And then they have, like, the feeding polyps and the reproductive polyps. And so they all just kind of work together, uh, but they are considered a colony. Interesting. So not like a colony of ants with individual members. It's still it's still yeah, it's still sort other. of one organism because the the individuals couldn't really survive without each other. Um, the feeding uh, polyps could probably survive and and start you know keep things alive as long as it had a reproductive part and they can like regrow uh, if they break apart. But yeah, they're they're considered sort of like a colony, but one individual kind of thing. It's it's really kind of a weird situation that siphonophores have. But you'll notice if we pass one um, really close, and and the thruster kind of hits it a little bit, they'll just break apart really easily. Yeah. Yeah, and so they won't come back together, but they can regrow from there. Interesting. Well, as long as their reproductive ones are okay. Yeah. Well, they can reproduce, uh, and like usually the feeding ones can start, you know, growing new polyps. Usually the swimming bells um, are kind of lost. Oh, when I was outside, I think I saw one of those uh, egg yolk jellyfish at the surface. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it looked more like intact, like round-ish. Yeah. It's that stuff was super weird last night. Yeah. It was like gross, but also mesmerizing. <laughs> I've, we've been doing these cruises for, well, I've been on them for seven or, or almost eight years, and I've never seen this much life on a cruise. Like really? Endeavor, I've never seen mammals at Endeavor only one first seal the odd time but like with the amount of dolphins and whales we've been seeing and the fish last night and it's it's been crazy how much action there's kind of been in terms of life 
Do you always like go that. out the same time every year, or yeah, is it's it pretty much? It's only exclusively in the summertime that we would go out, and so we always have like a June, July cruise, and we always have a September cruise. Mm -hmm. It could part of it could be because on the Nautilus we do like very much 24-hour ops where the boats diving, launching at night. Yeah. Um, normally, when we go on the other vessels, we don't well. be we can only launch and recover between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Right. So that we don't we're not on station as much at night because the RV is not in the water. But still, I've never seen so many porpoises and like dolphins and stuff like that. Yeah, we've seen a lot of cool stuff. Like just constant every day, you'd mm -hmm. see them regardless of where the site is. It's been very. Yeah, throughout the day, we've been seeing different assemblages of animals. Yeah, the most dolphins Assemblage. we've ever seen, the most mola molas now with this three, like it's pretty incredible. I don't know. It's also the best weather we've ever had offshore. That probably so helps. Oh, yeah, so I'm <laughs> sure that helps for how many Being able to see, see stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to see a dolphin if you're, you know, being Inside. tossed around. Yeah. But I've never seen, never seen a shark, be one shark, one time, one of these little sharks that we've been seeing. And mm -hmm. last night there were dozens, like mm -hmm. they, were, they were everywhere. There's a larvation and a half. What is, what is that thing? Are it's a bunch of mucus. Oh, mucus. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Here's a small siphonophore. Yeah, Ryan and I spent probably two and a half hours last night watching <laughs> dolphins at the surface, yeah. picking off those bait fish. Yeah, we were on the wrong side of the ship, apparently. So Megan and I went out there and with the flashlight, and we're on this side, and we're like, where are the dolphins? And then we go in, get ready for bed, and Ariel comes out and says, oh, yeah, they're on the port side. We're like, oh, we were looking on the starboard side. Yeah, they kind of like <laughs> the port side or like way up front by the bridge. Yeah. Over on to the front side is where they spent a lot of time. But they were all, all over. Like yeah. Sometimes you can walk around the boat and on every single side. So we missed it. We found they didn't like the flashlights, though. The dolphins yeah. and the sharks? Yeah. Well, the sharks, <laughs> not much they can do. They're so slow. But the dolphins, if you start shining the flashlights, they kind of go to a different spot. Mm -hmm. But the fish loved it. They jumped right towards it. I they thought it was the scattered. opposite. They just yeah. scattered yeah. away. They'd also come towards it and go up, you know? Yeah, mm. I, I don't understand it. I, I that was <laughs> when the fog wasn't as thick and we had the like this narrow beam spotlight, not the floodlight. Like I don't know. As far as that thing could shine in the water, there would be schools of fish jumping as soon as the light hits them. Mm. It was really, really cool. I was hoping a whale was going to come. A lot in. of siphonophores. <laughs> yeah, lots of siphonophores. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with when the other cruises were, what the weather conditions were, for how much you can spot, what your shift was like. Yeah. <laughs> but it is cool that it's. this is an impressive amount of animals that we've been seeing. It was some, a lot of cool stuff, even on the bottom. Yeah. That big red. The amount of octopus this trip has been quite... <coughs> yeah, it's been yeah. lots of octopus. Yeah. The benefit of the 24 hour ops, though, is you get that migration at mm -hmm. dusk and dawn as well. Oh yeah. Which is really good. That makes for a good viewing uh, in these descents. Uh, Fabio was here. He, they, there's this tanner crab migration that happens at our upper slope site and I, don't, I think it's at the node as well but where the whole ocean floor is just tanner crabs. Oh, wow. Like he's, I'm pretty sure he's got some kind of paper on it as well, or that involves it, but he could probably talk more about it. But it's like when, they got, when they're there, they're everywhere. Like, you know, you, have you seen those crab migrations like on land? On some oh, of those yeah, islands? yeah. It's like and that. it's like just this whole like 
Yeah, like Masses every square foot has a crab on it. Yeah, like that. Hey, that's crazy. Dirk. Yeah. Uh, are we immediately recovering this platform? Are we doing that at the end of the dive? No. So step one is we're gonna do survey the platform, the camera platform, and then we're gonna prepare that thing. Yeah, so recovery. stack stuff up so stack and stuff hook it all up. together. There's a few loose pieces on there, so Kay. you got to bundle them together. We also have the one piece of kit on the ROV for doing that. We have a couple things. Yeah, we yeah. have a uh, double carabiner and, and uh, double gladius. Double gladius, yeah. And then, yeah, once it's ready, we're going to do ship's wire. Yeah. Right? And then uh, that obviously is recovering it. And then video stuff later. And then video stuff's at the end. So uh, okay. after, the, after that's done, we've got the push cores, larval traps, and video stuff. Right on. Not okay. necessarily in that order, but... Right now, the order here says push course, surveys, then larval traps, but we'll see. Thank you. You get any riddles yet? Um, no, I thought you were going to give a riddle. I don't have a riddle. Yeah, neither do I. More of a solver than a generator. We're running out of time for riddles anyways. No, only another half hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one. Oh, yes. What's the beginning of the end, the end of me in space, the beginning of eternity, and the end of every place? Got it. Have you heard it before? Or Maybe, yeah. Begin or one like it. But I love it. <laughs> the begin of every... What is the beginning of the end, the end of me in space, the beginning of eternity, and the end of every place? Oh, I think I know as well. I, yes, and I've heard something similar. It's good. It sounds nice, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's very poetic. Is it, yeah. is it time? No. No. Oh. I'm never going to get it. I should write it down. If anything. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, if, um, if you don't mind going like, very slow, <laughs> I can write it down. Okay, the beginning of the end. What was it? The beginning of the end. The end of me in oh, space. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way slower. I've got B written down. The so far. beginning <laughs> of the end. And okay, not a yeah. Strong point. I got that one. The end of me in space. End of. Okay. The beginning of eternity. You got it? Uh, yeah. And the end of every place. Yep. Every you got it. Place. Oh, someone new got it now? Me. Is this me? <laughs> the, the, the dumb Irishman in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> So Dummy doesn't even know he's not in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Reinforce my point. <laughs> Center of the room. <laughs> the nice. It figures the guy with the last name O'Hara would be able to solve a riddle. <laughs> Why is that? I feel like if O'Hara you make a leprechaun is... reference here, you're going to get thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> So Harris did what? No, I just was referring to where he's from, uh -huh. <laughs> which is the origin of riddles. Oh. Is it? I didn't even know that. I don't know. <laughs> it did. Just <laughs> made the limerick. See, that's the, Ooh, you know. there's a big one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. was a big one. You got any more, Megan? Oh, that was, that was the first one I could come up with. I'll have to keep scouring the brain for more. Scour the brain.
on a mapping cruise a while back. That's all me and the bridge did, is uh, ask each other riddles. And the bridge? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. We're the only ones awake. Who was it? On the Okeanos. Oh, yeah. Like a number of years ago. Nice. Oh, what's going on there? It's a wiggly, wiggly worm. But it's got something attached to it. Yeah. Wiggly, wiggly. It looks red. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this riddle. Any any answers? Um, it's really obvious. And, uh, it, helps, it helps to write it out. Yeah, it helps to write it out. It's right in front of you. You're, you're already looking at the answer. I'm looking at, yeah, I've been doing all these other riddles, and I feel like it's right <laughs> in front of me all the time. No, no, no but those ones it. aren't. This one is literally in front of you. Mm -hmm. Because you've already you've, written it. Because you've written it out. Yeah, but I wrote it out shorthand. That's okay. You've still written the answer many times. Yeah, probably. I don't know how you could write it out shorthand and not have written the answer. That'd be impressive, actually, if he did that. Yeah. He really screwing himself over. Yeah. I've already written... <laughs> yeah, if I didn't write the answer down? You wrote the answer down already, yeah. Can I yeah. try? Can I try? Yeah, Can I try? What's our answer here? Back right. Is it the word off? No. No. Oh, I, I did write that a lot. I'll give you that. <laughs> Is it just end? No. Yeah, getting closer. Okay, well, that only leaves another six words, so. <laughs> Bye, Josh. Why did he only say goodbye to you? Mind games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just being dramatic. Always eating, ignoring everybody else. Okay. I feel like I, I know, but I that's only because that's the only word I haven't said. Is it beginning? No. no. Oh. It's beginning <laughs> is not the beginning of the end. Is it not? It's the beginning of something. No. All right. OK, then I, I we'll look at the beginning of end. Or the beginning of eternity, or any of that other stuff. There's some other that hands, I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dirk, but. Yeah. Can you say it one more time? It's What's the beginning of the wait, end? Wait, can you say it a little slower? It's a little slower. So I'm gonna yeah, just All right. Okay. What's the beginning of the end? Of the end. Okay. The end of me in space. The beginning of eternity. And the end of every place. Oh, uh, I got it. That's... <laughs> Wow, all right. You wrote it down 15 I, times, I think. I technically, yeah, I think. You've written the answer 15 times. I think times. I've also said the answer. No. <laughs> I mean, not directly. Not directly, no. Not in its single form. All right, it's E. Yes, you yes. <laughs> got it. <sighs> <laughs> Heavy sigh. Is that the sigh of accomplishment? No. <laughs> the sigh of pride in his abilities. Yeah, that's how proud I am of myself right now. <laughs> proud sigh. Man, I gave myself such a leg up by writing it down, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you still working on, the hat one or the uh, door one? Oh, I'm done with I never heard the, well, the door one, actually. I haven't started working on it. Okay. You've already figured that one out? Yeah. A riddle brain, eh? I feel like you've done a lot of riddles. I've, I've riddled. I've I feel, riddled I once feel or like twice. Riddling <laughs> is one of those things that the more you riddle, the more you can un you, the more you can solve riddles. Yeah, but do you like with escape them. rooms? Me? No. Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm not into them. But <laughs> huge like, escape room I've done, guy. done Love it. two maybe. Read all the books. I feel like there's a lot of riddles. Yeah. In that scenario. Yeah, it's a good. 
It's a good guess. I don't have an answer other than no, I just haven't really done. Oh, come uh, on, sure. Uh, our show support team, Alex and Ed, got it as well. Congratulations, you two. <laughs> <laughs> well done. See, they think you're accomplished. Uh, no, they didn't congratulate <laughs> me. They said, we got it. That's that everyone on oh. shore figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to rub it in. Even Shore is piling on the bloody dirt <laughs> train. Oh. oh, there we go. Sorry, Someone man. wrote congrats, Derek. There we go. Okay. Uh, anything on SPL? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how we roll. <laughs> oh. So the little boost I needed for this dive going into it. Secure the whole thing. Hydrophone too. Yeah, everything's got to go. Yeah. Yeah. There's no real other way. Hope to have a good look at the hydrophone when we're down there to see how we're gonna lock it in there. But. A beeping UPS. Well, sorry, I still made a bottom depth again, please. Six forty four. Six four four. Thank you. One fifty to go. Yeah. Getting there. Oh, there's the sable fish. Yep. <laughs> Look at that wiggly guy. Yeah, th if that's not bait, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> it's funny that we don't see the fish that, that we kind of saw last night. Did oh. you see them when uh, you didn't recover the vehicle till this morning, I guess? Yeah, 9 a.m. or 8.30 or something. Yeah. Where did they go? I don't know what the, what they were either. They're super long. They're not herring. They were all eaten. <laughs> I don't think there's enough <laughs> dolphins in BC to eat that in one sitting. What's the story? Yes. So Ready? many fishes. Did you see the mola mola after No? It was too far, I guess. No. 
Uh. Got a black calm day like today. High chance. Yep, hoping for more mola mola. She's <laughs> <laughs> quite surprised just in the last 20, 30 meters all of a sudden. Yeah, mm -hmm. all these fish. Womp. Yeah. Yep. We're like, here we are. Yeah. By the safety zone. People are surprised about the sable fish density mm -hmm. in the last dive. They prepare ourselves for this one. So what kind of fish is this? Huh? What sable kind of fish. Oh, these are still sable, sable fish? fish? Yeah. Oh. They seem more silvery higher up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're all up in the business. They'll only go through a thruster once. <laughs> so hard to identify what shark species those were. From last night? Yeah, I mean, in BC apparently we have like 14 different kinds of sharks. I believe that. Yeah. But these were weird. They had like brown tips on their fins. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, they were like a slightly different color, weren't they? Yeah, the tips were like this kind of yellow brown. I would think that's color. a pretty good distinguishing feature. You can't narrow it down based on that? No, no, the sharks have that. Oh, hmm. interesting. But their tails, I think we're confident they're not dogfish or the spiny dogfish from their tails. I yeah, usually dogfish are closer to the bottom. Yeah, that's true. What's that? Show sure support just made a nice annotation. Fish, fish everywhere. Fish. <laughs> One's just Pretty fitting. Oh, he got out. Oh, I saw that by the minute up there. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Something's going into a thruster because we've just stopped. Roger. <laughs> well, that's one way to fish. Uh, <laughs> ew, no thanks. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's the... Did Mike ever catch anything with his wrench fishing I don't line so, no. situation? <laughs> Wrench fishing line? No. Well, the wrench was the alarm, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, nothing. He didn't literally have a wrench out there. Oh. <laughs> All good? Yeah. Look at bubble cap. Um, can I get bubble looking down, Mitt, please? Mm -hmm. They're the only... I think it's just these guys setting <coughs> the beams off, like, but... Maybe, you know, yeah. Our altimeter's going nuts. Yeah, we still got 100 meters to go. Yeah. Wow. All right, I've got another riddle. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm part of a bird that's not in the sky. I swim in the ocean, yet remain dry. What am I? I don't know this one. A penguin. I'm part of a bird that's not in the sky. I swim in the ocean, yet remain dry. What am I? Part of a bird. Yeah, penguin. Oof. No, there's no, no it's not part of a bird. That is a bird. Oh, I know. This is this guy. What's that? Weird part mammal. of a bird. That's the key. The weird part. mammal that would still have it's like a living fossil. Oh. Need to hink. Hmm? I can't hear you. Are you thinking the platypus? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't a platypus? That 
Not I a bird. It's yeah. part of a bird. It's got a beak. <laughs> the beak? No. Uh, part of a bird that's not in the sky, it's in the water, and dry. Either you stumped everybody or everybody lost interest. <laughs> no, I don't know. They're thinking I'm about stumped. it. The I'm brain, so far. the Part brain the the cogs are turning. Not in the sky. Nothing from shore. Make <laughs> <laughs> me feel good. Um, All right, Dr. Einlock, 65 to go on Herc. Roger. Argus altitimeter, altitimeter is actually working too. Nice. Is the digital stills camera currently turned on? Yep. Yep. It is? Okay. Okay, give us a clue. A um, very hard clue. Like. Um, okay. Is so it a, okay, a. I have a question that might be a clue. Okay. Is it a color? It's not a color, but it does have a distinct color. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's let that one marinate for a bit. All right. I think SPL might have spoiled it for me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The audience is participating. <laughs> well, SPL's in here. You mean the uh, online folks? Yeah, the okay. online, yeah, yeah. online yeah. folks. I was like, who said something in here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got the uh, bunch of people oh, at boy. home who are going to really. I'm all stopped. 33 meters. Sitting in Google. Okay, man. at the end of the transect. <coughs> 20 to go. Oh. I'm glad your screen doesn't turn off if you touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Does yours? Yeah, I went to like turn the screen a little bit one day and so gone. Yeah. Nice. That's I'm like, now feature. I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> no. Where are we going once we hit bottom? Uh, I see. Yeah, we're going right here. Yeah, oh. so you need to head south. Yep. The node. The node. 
AP. Great. Still 15 off bottom. Once we get down there, I'll yep, of course. change the camera angle and swing around. So the node, not the IP? I'm hearing different things here. All right. In the node. We're going to the node. That's okay. number five. Okay, Raj. Yeah. Node, then IP. Yeah, yeah. Should be close together. All right. Something tells me this is quite steep. Fabio, how often do we think those tanner crab migrations happen? Bottom in sight. Mm. We capture a couple of times. All right, no call out end of transect. Hard to say. It's like end of transect. Yes. Young crabs going to shallow water. 2008, 24. As they grow. We'll get the vehicles yeah. happy Adults and stable, and then we'll do white balance after. And the youngs a bit deeper. I would say I've read something about every couple of years. Every couple of years? Yeah. But I'm not sure precisely. All right. I think I have Hurry a site. Layout diagram for the node. <laughs> These fish. Oh, it oh should be goodness. here, actually. Wow. Wow. Node. Make it a mess, eh? What jerks. It's it's really interesting <laughs> thing about this I feel like they're moving more with purpose it's today. Capture those. A little bit right, more lethargic yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I don't bottom. think I've got it. Never. Here we go. Barkley node. It's page. Me. Don't know, but it got it here. Did we determine what type of fish these are? These ones are sable fish? So we capture an, a tenor crab migration on January 12th, 2015, and then t three years later, January 12th, start in your 2017. DVL. The same day. Okay. The same day. Wow. Almost same hour. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Like uh, the DDL that always gets toppled over by landslides within Similar. a day or two of each other every year. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's funny. What range is the sonar out? Can you open the sonar out to 20 meters, please, yeah. Trevor? Thank you. Do, the, do these so um, sable fish stick around yet? here right, year round? Just, uh, or are they seasonal? Do they migrate? They might have something here. They are year round here. Yep. Mm, okay. Mm. No, gone. The abundance One is of those There you go. There's, There's a, a cable. The cable There's there it is. What's yeah. up? The abundance fluctuates a bit as yep, the season Yeah, that one. ties in with the yep. nav pretty much. Um, Perfect. But I've, we, this is our... Yeah, our 12 meters straight ahead. The yep. node here, we put a camera down like maybe three, four years oh, ago, what's right? That? The first time. Oh, oh, what is that? Yeah. It's fallen over, whatever it is. I don't the know. Monument. There's a cable here cable? coming That's into the, uh, it. termination. Yeah, hold on. Oh. So we are... Um, where are we on the nav there? Are we north or south of the IP right now? North. Come up with my delta. Or of the node? Yeah, I don't yeah we're north of the node. North of so the node. So north of the IP. Weird. This could be a uh, cable A, a mud mat kind of thing, like a termination yeah. can. It's not on my map, but I believe that is what that thing is. Yeah. Would you like me to mark it? Uh, termination assembly, nine meters. Is this nine meters east? Yeah, about. Of the node? Uh, east? Or west Ooh. of the node? According to our map, it's directly north. It's hard to say, yeah. Dirk, if you look at the Berkeley Canyon node and IP drawing, it's on there. Yeah, but it says um, this is supposed to be west of the node, and right now we're still north. 
but okay, it might just have an offset on it. Dave, yeah. let me know when you're ready for uh, hydraulics. I'll bring the arm out and do the white balance. Ah, uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay, but if the that's a termination assembly, if the node is nine meters to the to this ROV port. Yeah, it looked like hey, a, Dave, try that out. like a pole coming off the top of that yeah, thing. Yeah, did. Like, oh, I mean, that's like a, a fallen over monument. Yeah. All right, uh, you good, Dave? Yep. Okay, Pete, go ahead. Is that close enough? That is great. Thank you much. All right. All right, you're going to see the video go to dark for about 10 seconds. All set. Thank you very much. All right. Arm secure. Roger. So. Uh, I cannot. I could definitely Here, believe see. that this orange oily hose goes towards the uh oh thingy majig we're looking for. Fabio's off comps for good. <coughs> for good. Well, he's got a malfunction here. He can't go on or off comps. Like his mute button doesn't do anything. Uh, give me a second. Let's see if I can reset it. It says now. Omnio offers. Uh oh. Where it should say F with a circle around it. Uh oh. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so the node should be on our left. Uh, there is something right there, yeah. You want us to go there now, Dirk? Yeah, yeah. Let's. Um, we're just using that to follow a cable over to the IP. Where's one now? There's a node just about there. And then there's going to be a cable coming off the south face of it. And we just kind of want to follow that down. Someone forgot to close the doors. <laughs> Is that you? Close the pod bay doors. Does this one even have doors? Uh, I don't know if it has doors anymore. Hmm. This one was the one that was trawled and recovered, right? Aren't they trawl resistant? Resistant, not proof, we found out. Raj. <laughs> Fabio got it, Pete. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Yep, no worries. I didn't do anything yet, but I'm glad it worked. So whenever you're ready, we can navigate down to the IP. Um, before we go, can we get a confirmed position for this, please? Yep, we got it. Thank you, got it. So out of curiosity, we're not waiting for anything from the RV perspective, are we? No. Nope. No, okay, all right. I'm just playing with trims and yeah, yeah okay. Right. setting things up for the weight. Gonna reset your DVL again, see if I can get those. Yeah, go for snail it. Snail trail, come back in. 
I don't know. It like takes a while for the little green track to just appear. Hmm. Sometimes. Just a wee bit more off. That's the cable you're looking for around here? Um, it's going to be, nope, not that one. Next one, Ryan? Yeah, we, we, yeah, it's next one. It's kind of on the back side of it. From on the opposite side of what we're looking at. Like, yeah, back there. You can kind of see the other doors. That's yeah. Like, So that's the cable we're looking yep. for there, the one on the right hand side. Are those two befores? Looks like it. Hmm. They're surprisingly well preserved. How long has this note been down there? Uh, not very long, like 18, 2018 Years? or something. Yeah, maybe, yeah, 2019, 2018, 19. Oh, I see. Not right, very long, so it's, had a, it's had a refresher. What do you want to do with this? Just follow it to the IP is where we're going. So just follow uh, this cable, that one. Yeah, I gotcha. We can start the ship moving that way. All yeah. right. What is that way? Um, we're we want going to end up. The experiment that we're looking for is the fish acoustics. A bit more, experiment. it's pretty much south, south Megan, south? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how far south, Derek, are we going? We're just going to look at, we want to look at the IP, but more importantly, we want to work our way over to the fish acoustics, so somewhere where we can kind of okay. move from the IP almost right away over to the fish acoustics experiment. Okay, well then so I'll far. try to put us in between those two spots. Yeah, that should be good. Bridge nav. Uh, can we move 50 meters 190, please? Thanks. How many fish are there? <laughs> Plenty. At More. least 100. Well, now that you're panning up, it's even more. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, 50 meters, but there's probably over 100 fish that we're looking at. Yeah, on our screen right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no sad. worries. Any chance your camera's still in, racked in? Hmm? Is your camera still racked in? I tried to clear the magnum out, but I can't get oh, it. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I can push it out. That's nuts. You can see why it gets trawled, huh? Yeah, they're like, look at all these fish we got here. But sable fish is not caught in trawls mostly. No? Nope. And pots. If I remember correctly, oh. rock fish, rock fish is troll. Rock fish troll. If they they avoid the net, they're pretty. I mean, I mean I'm sure they come on, on nets, but the fishery it relies on on pots. And they avoid the net, but go into the pot. Huh? Just put a little pot on them. Well, I think they they use bait, uh, maybe. I think, so. I think so. I think they might be right. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how they catch them. It's been a few times when I've been working around oil rigs. We've had to just stop the job, go back and sit in the TMS, because you can't see or do anything because of the amount of fish around the rig. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Wow. What kind of fish is all kinds? All sorts. A lot of, An awful lot of cod. Especially in the cold, you know, the colder waters. Yeah. And of course, they want to have conversations with thrusters, and that drag just drags more in. And 
It gets kind of silly. You get the vehicles back on deck and you're just pulling them out of the vehicle all day. Chefs are generally pretty happy though. <laughs> <laughs> like, hmm, delicious. Yeah, I've never seen one of these things come up in the RV, the rockfish that we have. No, nope. I'm getting pulled there. Yeah. It's about my weight point now. Definitely see the IP and the uh, mesosonar. Yeah. They're going. Somewhere there. I'm gonna go. Dirk, how long are we planning to stay at the IP? Uh, that's very temporary. So uh, not worth moving Atalanta farther east in order no, to no, get it? No, no. Currently, I think we're positioning in between the IP and the... Yeah. And the, the only way Kirk will be able to reach there is if I spin tail, too. So we can adjust if necessary, but if we're just doing a quick flyby and no, move on... No, just doing a flyby. Yeah. yeah, okay, then I'm not worried. give up on trying to hold heading and just spin tail to you yeah I've, yeah go for it i've turned around so i'm facing directly at it now yeah roger Well, there's probably a lot of uh, fish acoustics around here. Whole conversations. <laughs> yeah, you trying to decode fish lingo, or what's the scoop of this project? Yeah, more or less. Trying to get the. Uh, what's that, Fabio? Seriously, big fella, you, you really got have to do right. that. <laughs> They're trying to capture their vocalizations and specific behaviors that trigger. Uh, the vocalizations. Oh wow, it's a lot further off to the east than I thought. Yeah, yeah. it should be 50 meters for the IP from the, for, or um, to the experiment from the IP. Yeah, yeah, I moved 50 meters, but it's a lot further off to the east. Oh yeah, we're gonna. It should, like, you mean the IP, or which for the yeah, IP? We, yeah, we might make it. Yeah, it should have been just been dead south from the node. Yeah, no, we've kind of drifted. Yep. A bit so east from the node. Yeah, I think the top waypoint on ROV nav was 10 meters out, and this one looks like it's yeah. more than that. So that's what I was calculating from that. I'm like, oh, totally. no, I'm going a we little... We might, might make yeah, it. Yeah, I, I can't turn any further around either. Yeah, you're pretty stretched out. you got a lateral. Yeah. I mean, we're still in the middle of our move, so the, if we want to scoot over there, now is a good time. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be able to turn. You're going to have to lateral. Full stretch. Yeah, it's really stretched out. Should I just do a 20 meter move east? For me, it's going to be worth it because we're a long way okay. away and we're yeah. pretty shallow. Bridge nav. Can we go 20 meters east, please? There it is. Yeah, it might still be, it's still be your starboard, so. Yeah. You might be fine. Unless we're going back to where we just came from. Uh, okay, go. 
15 meters ahead. Yep. Did you see the sablefish eating in the top screen there? I don't there it is. There it is. Got it. Yeah, I don't think we need to keep that move going. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. Bridge nav. Oh, let's hold position. Look at that CTD. How the heck? <laughs> Do that twice, eh? Don't <laughs> <Holy. laughs> <still> touch it. <laughs> I must be stuffed into the bullhorns. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess Did so. Did we do that? Have we yeah. been here already? Uh, we haven't been here this cruise. Oh. But we did put one in down into the into the leg. Into yeah. the leg, yeah. But that is a very precarious looking. All right, what do you want to have a look at, Dirk? The cable you're on, the orange one. Yeah, just below me. Yeah, just follow that one. Away or from here. It? Yeah, if I mean, if we would it require a ship move? If you have to move the it's ship, it's going around that way. Okay. So around the back. Essentially, from this face you're looking at right here, we want to go east or west. Uh, west about 50 meters to get to the fish acoustics. But while we're here, if it requires a ship move to get over to the other experiment, then it might be worth just having a quick look at that. Uh, what is the other experiment? That's the 50. That's the fish acoustics experiment. That's 50 uh, meters we're, west we're of We're closer here. to the fish acoustics experiment than we are to the IP. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, okay, while we're here then, just have a look around, like a pirouette around. So we can get a ship move and we can look around here, or we can get no ship move and go look at the fish acoustics experiment. Okay, so let's not do the ship move then, and let's go over to the fish acoustics, if you can't yeah. look at the CTD right now. Megan, can I have where coordinates, please? Fine, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Fish acoustics is where we're going, if, if you have 270. to. 270. That's what I'm looking for. Ish. Thank you, got some. No problem. Uh, yeah, 275 from the IP is what it says. Yeah, Roger, thank you, Dirk. It's pretty big, so we should see it in sonar. I think you might already have it in mezzo. Wait for it to do a lap. I'm gonna range this one out to 30. Yep, cheers. 30 meters on this one. Uh, we have a couple sablefish question. Um, are they known as black sonar. cod? Dead ahead, yes. 22 and a half. And yep. cheers. where are all the baby sablefish? Where are? <laughs> yeah, where are they? <laughs> They're probably swimming in the ocean somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> also another easy one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess do they spawn at specific times of year? So maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's where we want to be. They do. They have so. Some before we stir up anything, we just want to do a survey of this area. Um, there's two parts to the fish acoustics, right? This is the yes. hydrophone, I guess. There's, there's something else behind it. There's yeah. this is all of this is the experiment area. Oh, okay. So we just want to have like a visual of the ground and instruments before we start doing anything. So if we kind of Kind of pirouette around this whole area and just kind of look at all we the have pieces. All right. We have some rods that we had the bait. You can see one right there. Yeah. So we want to, we had 24 sardines <laughs> in each of those bottles that were released at uh, regular intervals. And we saw some fish carrying the bait away. We want to see more or less how far from the experiment they kind of took those away. You just saw one there for now, right? We can see one. So it's kind of like our afternoon snack tray. <laughs> yeah. It does kind of look like a picnic setup. <laughs> look at these bead bags. Neat. And but there are two, the platform sunk too much into the sediment. Mm. We, the feet broke when we deployed. Oh no. And the bait release system was a bit too far from the camera. It, we still got really amazing data, but ideally that, that whole package, the hydrophone would be like four, 
four meters is now sitting up seven, seven and a half meters away from the, the mm. camera. Yeah, I think we couldn't. Big we old crab there. It with the oh, that yeah, crab does toast. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> look well. <laughs> it was somebody else's well. snack. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a mold. Well, Another not back coiled uh, cable. Little telephone well, cord. The, that stuff has this a ton of memory. It's hard to find. Digital about. stills are good. Any. Yeah. Uh, try it. Any time we get a good view, I'll, I'll take pictures. Thank you. So this is the site where Fabio says we see um, sea lion or elephant yeah. seals come down to. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they come hunt the sablefish. I mean, Do they ever get into the bait? Um, we never spot. No, they they came specifically. It looks like since there's lots of sablefish here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to see. I see a couple. They're probably buried in sediment. The pretty active area with rest suspension, sediment rest suspension here. Even the fish. So they where do you need to be to begin with? So after <coughs> after we've done a little survey, Bobby, are you satisfied yeah, with that I survey? Think, yeah, we cannot see okay, much. Okay, we want to look at the lifting points of the main platform. Just make sure it's all in good condition. Uh, there's another peg right here. Yeah. Right yeah. Um, we just want to inspect the platform <coughs> and then go look at the bait release and just get some zoom ins of them. Because ultimately, we're going to have to take both that hydrophone and that bait release system on the right and hang it on this platform and secure it to it. Sorry, Dirk, I missed that. Can you, sorry, can you repeat what the next step is? Yeah, so we're looking at this guy. Yep. yep. And uh, looking at the lifting point specifically to make sure we're not seeing any funky corrosion. Okay. Any weirdness, um, and then from your perspective, kind of just have a look at where we want to hang that bait release and um, hydrophone. It all has to come on here somewhere. So just and get a good mental image of what this looks like, and then we're gonna go look at the other two pieces. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And then go from there. So one thing I like seeing is that the fiberglass is not in the mud. I was worried about that. For having to pull it out of the mud would have could have been hard with our little winch. Right. So there's a shackle on the top there. Do we need to yeah. use that for anything? Yeah. Can we get some zoom when they when you're ready of that area? Because it's gonna be a pink hook hookup. Yeah, pink hook probably through the white lifting yeah. eye. Eh? I would imagine. Yeah, the shackle will be really tight. There's a pairing, but it looks like it's sunk. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Fabio, is there a public place where people can listen really? to the acoustic can I just data? Get a couple of meters out. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of in continuously giving you Oceans meters out. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting whipped around okay. too. That's our data portal. Yeah, there is a fair bit of current there, but maybe someone was just getting blown away. I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah. Folks can go. That's to good. Okay. Somewhere there. I'll just let her stabilize. Data.oceannetworks.ca. And then they can search the tree of instruments and locations and go look Did for the I mean? node. Just really, it seems yeah, it feels pushing. really it's pushing, yeah. And the yeah, hydrophone totally. data will be there. Awesome, thank you. And the video, there's two cameras on this platform one acoustic camera and so, a. So, yeah, camera. I know you're having a hard time, but just if we can get a zoom in of that lifting point when you're ready. Yeah. Okay, Pete. I mean, it looks pretty solid to me. I don't see any major concerns. I think that's nope. a visual pass. I don't even think they see any rust on the bare metal there, so that's good. Nice. Um, what we're looking at next is around the back side, this side of it. There's going to be a few um, pull or bungees with, with loops. I just yep. want to make sure they're accessible. Um, that those land out on the floor there? Yeah, because we're see um, we're going to hang the bait release so that it hangs off of here and kind of rests up against there. And we want to make sure these bungees are free now before we uh, bring that thing over. So I see three bungee ring uh, things. Yeah. Uh, yep. Are all of them relevant? Um, not sure about what we were doing with this one yet. I'll have to look at the hydrophone to see if we can use it.
That long one with the white ring, is that going to go from top to bottom? The long one with the white ring. Okay, so these two will hook straight to the... Um, Which two? Hang on. <laughs> you no, got touch it. You've got one here. Yep. Uh, that's a cable. Sorry. I don't know what this one does. <laughs> I'll just the look up. Okay, so we're going to be here for a while, like maybe a few minutes. So it's up to you whether you want to land or not. I just want to make sense of all this, whether we have to free yep. any of these before. That's fine. I can, I'm going to sit and just see how she settles out because we're going to be working here, right? Yeah. We're, yeah, we're going to be looking here, but it, this is a good time for... Um, yeah, it's almost like we're too light. There's a beat bag. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> or if uh, you're gonna pick up this, bird. you're gonna pick up this experiment, and it is heavy. The bait release. I know. Last time when we were down here, we had a really hard time moving it with the ROV. We had to like drag it out there. So wait, what? Yeah. When you're we welcome. Were, when we deployed it. That's why it became too far. Yeah, because it took a lot of time to even get it there. It was too close, and then moved it further and further, and then it was too far, and then we had to recover. I don't Yeah. Okay. Okay, so basically this strap we're going to use, it's going to, once we hang... Um, you see this strap, but haven't showed me anything. Yeah, so <laughs> this strap here. Yeah, I got it. We're going to hook that onto the bait release bottom. It's got like a, a hooks to hook that into. Great, Roger. This strap here, we're going to do the same thing to the bottom of the bait release. Roger. This one, if you look just to your right um, slightly uh, around here, this is where we'll eventually put the hydrophone and we'll use this bungee to hook around it and into, um, you can see behind everything here, there's a piece of ready rod that kind of looks like that. Okay. okay. You have to take my word for it, but we'll sure. hook this bungee around the hydrophone once it's staged into that. So it will be worthwhile to free up this now. Can we do the we hydrophone the first? first? Uh, yeah, we could do the hydrophone first. And it would just get that long bungee out of the way from behind the bait one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Anything else you want to see here before we start that? Um, if you can, get a zoom out and move around this direction just so we can have a look at the bungee. The hydrophone needs to be landed kind of in this thing. And what about this connector? What connector? Orange yeah, that's hose. A, we're going to have to unmate that as well. That's probably first step, eh? Well, let's just, still on the survey step. I mean, Don't first move step away. before the... Uh, Let me check my dive plan, but that does make sense. Confirm power is off. We do feel really light. Yeah. Copay park resistant Fletcher, remove connector. Yeah, so before we do the hydrophone, let's do the connector. I can check gauges right quick. Make sure there's not some <sighs> thruster fish action. <laughs> oh, fine. Right, so we're going to go have a look around here now. Uh, next I think we're to the right. I think we're standing by, this guy. waiting on Dirk first. Okay. Something about that circled thing. Yeah, we're working with the connector next. So you won't be moving around there, do you? Yep. All right. Um, we're, we weird. Uh, to answer a question that came in on zero SPL. Bias right now. Yeah, I know, but we still didn't come off that fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I un maybe I calculated it wrong. Don't know. Be the first Fire time up. this trip. Yeah, can't win them all. Yeah. Good thing we're moving heavy stuff. Yeah, we might have one of those chunkers and a thruster too. Yeah, totally. Because I didn't see all of that one come through. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, uh, zero, 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 eight. I don't know. I mean, I counted them all. Yep. So we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll make it work. Figure it out. We should take this uh, 
Uh, Dirk, would you take the bead bag off the far side of this thing in case we need it later for video surveys or whatever? Sure. That way it doesn't come up in the water column and get lost during recovery as well. Okay. I think you're going to need to um, be light to move that bait release, yes, but agreed. at the end of this, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We'll just get it and take it out of the out of the platform at some point. Yeah. So we're going to set up to unplug this. Is that correct? Yes. So you need the 12 way. You need the um, Fletcher, the parking position. Done. Okay. And I see that uh, threaded rod you were talking about. Perfect. This little piece, right? Yeah, a little nugget with the red. Yep. I moved that deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> Circle of thing and then move it out of the way. Yeah. yeah. What are you drawing in free space for? <laughs> yeah, like, look. Yeah, wild. I just can't get down. You want to grab that bead bag first? Well, yeah, but why am I coming up? Uh, uh, pressure's good. I don't know. You're coming up pretty fast. I'm yeah, and that's pages. full downs are in. Full downs. Huh. You want to cycle yeah. your downs up, down, up, down? See if you can blow that fish I'm out. Seeing a lot of scales coming while there you're. There we go. There you go. Yeah. That's got him. At least somewhat. Oh, a lot of dust. Yeah, okay. That was uh, one of many fish. Ooh, we should have put guards on it for this one. I didn't realize. <laughs> well, I'm just going to give that another bit of hosing, really. Yeah, totally. I do think we should grab the bead bag. But uh, hey, that you was floated all. up pretty quick. That was a fish for sure. That was a fish. Stop. Shut our thruster down. One of them. Hopefully so that'll go, because all his mates will go to the funeral now. So bead, bag, <laughs> bead bag's around the far side. Okay. Yeah, it seems like they uh, left to go That's eat. much more better. Yeah, still really light. 20, 22%. Well, that's not as bad. Nope. Let's still grab him out of there in case we need him later. In case yeah. we get another fish. It's a, it's a lame way to end a dive. Fish in the thruster, and RV oh. can't, can't, can't come down. Wouldn't be the first one. Really? No. no. Eh, no. But it's not so deep, you know. In get, the past. Get back down, get, get back yeah. up. Mm. I've had a shark wedge itself in and just literally demolish the pan and tilt. Oh, jeez. We <laughs> oh, had, no. had to recover, pull a bloody shark out of it. <laughs> And some really big mahi stuck in, just shut down your thrusters. Nice. Let me know when you're ready for me. Yeah, go for it. I guess it's like flying your little, a little plane in, in amongst a, a flock of geese. <laughs> yep. Let me lose those lasers. Two times? Holy. <laughs> Bubble gonna help or no? No. Uh, nah. I got it. Not in there. Can I see the porch, please? Yep. Um, hang on, let me just rack back. You're okay. Sure? Yes. Kind of a half sandbag. You want to get the other one? Ah, uh, might as well get it off, I guess. Yeah. It's not going to do any good on there. No. Yeah, you're right. I think it might be heavy with both of them, so I'll just leave it over here. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And 
arm is secure and stowed. Yeah, straight up. Slowly, but that'll work. Are you able to turn off the down thrusters with one sandbag on? Turn off the thrusters? Yeah, the down thrusters when we're when we're parked. No, no you still got to have them on. Okay. Yeah, we we won't pick up enough weight to make the ROV negative. Just to prevent more carnage. Yeah, being negative when you haven't got something else to go rescue you isn't a good idea. Copy. Also, when you're doing your balancing for lifting heavy stuff, like even when lifting like this bait, bait release, you won't be, you'd see, you could be negative for that a little bit, right? We don't. Ever? No. Oh? I might have screwed up the ballast on this live. I haven't figured out where. It looks fine, but I might have screwed it up, so we might end up being negative yeah. on this heavy lift. But uh, no, we ne we're never negative. That's not really the ROV thing to do. Unless, like Dave said, you got someone to come rescue you, second ROV. Oil and gas outfits, that kind of thing, or special circumstances, but no, I will be positively buoyant. Really? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Because if yeah. hydraulics died, you would be able to get you the just gonna have to do well, your it best. Just seems, it Sorry. just seems strange yeah, because, Roger, I got it. because, like, RVs with through frame lift, they'd obviously uh, be negative, wait. right? Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Waiting, waiting. At least then I've got a reference. Oh, sure, yeah. Freaking thing. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> There you go. Go for it. Okay. So you would have the strain relief, so you might not be able to pull it very far, Trevor, but... Oh, Roger, yeah. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. Nothing I can do. Oh. Well, you could do that. Should I do this? Should I do that? You could try. Nothing. I think it's essentially nothing. Uh, hmm. That's really good work, Paul. Well. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Yeah. What? Mm. That's what I had the other day. Was it yesterday? Let me try a different. Dirk. Yeah. What have you done to this thing? That what was you, done you so personally? that it wouldn't be released easily. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to uh, get the Magnum out, I guess. That's bizarre. What happened? No, no, nothing. It's just a little sticky. Sticky. That happens. It's sometimes when you don't get the perfect straight pull. Like I don't. Oh, buddy, this is the perfect straight pull. I don't know. <laughs> Go for it. I'll try it again. Still's camera saying you're a little off to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is funny though how these things sometimes, like a parking position, might just almost fall out. And then sometimes you just can't get a connector loose. Yeah, totally. If possible, if you cannot grab that piece of Delrin clamp yeah, with the steel frame. Steel angle, Roger. Whoop. Oops. Rats. Yeah, Rats. just even just that little tap had me moving like. Yeah. So can we wait for Viz, Trevor? I just want to make on. sure there's no black cable behind there where you're grabbing. I thought I saw one. Okay. I'm just going to keep working on getting out of there. I just got, thought it was farther than it was. Okay, I'm lined up for the grab. Waiting on Viz. Good to go, Dirk? Oh, just give it a second. Okay. I just want to... Okay, so right there. I believe there's a black cable right up against it, so I just want to check. Would you zoom in, please? Oh, skate's in the mix. <laughs> just see if you can blow it out a little. I think you're clear there. It looks like it goes yeah. down. I think it goes down and then around, so you're good. Okay. Just let me know what you want with the camera. I'm good. I'm going off bubble. All right, zoom back out a bit, please. That's good, thanks. OK, 
Okay, lock and jaw. And yep. let's try this connector again. Coming up. Yep. To the right, to the left. There you oh, go. there we go. Okay, can I see the porch, please? Mm -hmm. Things yep. are in, letting go. Whoops. I'm gonna put a dust cap on and then we'll uh, just clear, clear it this out thing a little away. bit. Yep. Okay, can I have drawer out and box or what's it called? Camera back, please. We've uh it's funny, we've managed to do this whole dive with the same pen. <laughs> on our normal cruises we go through so many pens in that R V vans, like <laughs> in the containers. It's lasting a long time. shot on at Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good. It, the water here is almost more clear than anywhere else. Uh, I don't think we've seen this Come so on. much detail before of the ROV. <laughs> Get oh. behind there. What are you doing? A little jaw? All right. We can work with that. Nope. Can no longer work with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Fabio, someone was asking about these little shells. What are they from? shells uh, they said like whelk shells near the workspace they are gastropods oh, okay they're Fusitrum or Neptunea there are a few a couple species here Bucinid they are family Bucinidae uh, yeah you can close it Keep going, keep going, and good. Actually, hold there. Let me think about this. This is, yeah, do that a sec. Just one more in. Good there. Oh, oh are you kidding? Uh, Trevor, just leave the dust cap. We don't need it. It's okay. Really? Yeah, we're recovering this right away. Okay, close the door. No big deal. Roger. You want to fly this away to clear it? Yeah, I think so, because Pink hook, it can always drag a little bit, so. Yeah, okay. Only a few meters is fine. Okay. Let me grab it and then get this yeah. out of here. Okay, you got that one? Yeah. Okay, arm is halted. I can finish doing the magnum while you fly that away. Yep. All yours. Do you, want to, do you want us to go back towards the IP? Yeah, I mean, this, once you get this next bend, like this bend out, I think you're fine. Another couple meters back in this direction and you're good, Trevor. Oh, just okay. keep backing up, yeah? Yeah, just keep backing up. Okay. okay. Uh, and that's fine there. Okay, Roger. ditching. Ah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Get a little camera down, please. Do it the safe way. Uh, before. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Hmm? The tangs are still in. No, I just wanted to check the tangs, but yesterday when we dumped one, 
we noticed oh, afterwards that the tangs weren't in. Yeah, that's so right. We I have to go that. fix it. You so want to go get, look real quick? Yeah, just go have a look. That'd be quite, quite the disaster. If it came out. What a disaster. Well, then you know you're doing this whole planning of a new experiment. Get oh, down yeah. there, and you don't have a cable. Totally. Yep. Okay, go ahead and zoom in. Looks fine to me. Yeah. yeah, looks fine to me. Yeah, all right. Uh, over to the bait release. Or you want to do hydrofoam first? Let's do that one. I think it's hydrofoam first. Just yeah, that, that way we get that bungee out of there in one yeah. go. Sure. Right. Where is it? It's over by the bait release as well. It's that way, yep. Uh, that way. Somewhere over there. Maybe slightly to your left. Oh, no, I don't know where. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drawing a line here, and I don't think that's where it is. Sorry. Well, if we come back in, the unit we were on is just here. It yeah, it might be this one. Yeah. It's so easy to get turned around in this stuff. Yeah. Okay, follow the cable, yeah. <laughs> that's the key. Yeah, that's it there. Nice. It is the green cable that goes to the, bait or to the hydrophone. Okay, so we're going to pick the hydrophone up and move it over. Yeah, and so we just want to make sure we have it the right way around. It will be have a hook or something on one side. Okay. So we want that's our that's our ticket. Uh, how heavy is the uh, hydrophone? Uh, I'm gonna say like 20 pounds. Okay. Negligible. Ish. Ish. It's not particularly heavy. It's not much to it. Okay. So it needs to be facing what you're seeing there. The hook needs to be facing out, so you want to grab it by like that hook or anywhere, but the hook is going to face away from the platform when away it's hanging. From. Understood, Roger. And I can grab it from the hook. I can also grab it from the main shaft thing. Yeah. In column. Can, yeah, just not by the green cable. <laughs> Roger. Oh, you want to grab it? Any metal part is fine. Just sit in front right here. Yeah, I got to be a little closer though. If you you might want to have a hook, look at the back end of it just What's to see that? what you. Oh. Is that a piece of wood? Uh, Up to wood, the right, yeah. it looks like it. Board. Oh, I know what you were saying now. Bonk. Ooh, neat. That's not what I thought would happen. Yeah. yeah. Nope, <laughs> can't lift it. Ooh, that was stuck in, in yeah. This is glued, glued down. Yeah. Halted. Halted and happy. Alright. And now we're going to go to the, I believe it's the, uh, yeah. There, on the left, right. The southwest corner of it, looking northeast, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like when we're facing right, the right connector right. panel, it is the. Yes. Corner on your left. Yeah. Roger. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's definitely got us heavy. These fish are sable fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, people are asking. Mm -hmm. Joining in at every right. moment, new, mm. new customers. You want to come <laughs> backwards? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't go farther left. Yeah. You can see it in your pilot cam there. Just barely off to port. No. Okay. Keep backing up. You're just clear to back straight up.
I've lost it now. Are you backing up? Yeah, keep backing up. Yeah, you're still clear behind you. Yeah, Looks good, keep backing up. And soon you should be able to bring your heading to port and find it. That's it. Yep. And we're going to that leftmost corner. Oh, that one. And then the horns. The line doesn't stay relevant for long. Nope. It does not. <laughs> it instantly travels. It's, if you can get around as far as possible, that'd be best for me, so I can grab that bungee. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to hang pretty much square to the corner, so the legs are kind of equally on either side. Understood. The uh, red rubber hose handle as far away from the platform as yes. possible? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sounds good. And the threaded rods are tucking in underneath the three feet. That's that's plenty, Dave. Yep. Probably back a little. Yeah, that's great there. Here. Might need to come around to starboard a bit. We can try there. To tell you the truth, I don't really know how it sits on there. Um, it, from the picture, the handle, this red, black, red, black handle, yep. is at the same height as the um, threaded rod. As the threaded rod. So I don't know if the legs actually sit. No, the legs definitely do not sit on the grating. Interesting. Okay. So we we'll just have got to figure this one out. Okay, I'll try a couple things, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. Let's try in pivoty mode. So, I'm going to get it closer than I'm going to re-grab. You want me to come in? Ah, uh, you're good. But I will oh, there momentarily is a, oh, no. take a zoom. So wait, um, now that we see it here, yeah, it's kind of got some scale. What do you think, Dirk? I don't think, it, like, I'm not seeing anything that looks immediately obvious. Um, from the yeah. picture, the red was in line with the ready rod, but... Uh, but also parallel to it, or whatever. Yeah, direction. yeah, kind of like, you know parallel whatever you want to call it yeah but i don't see how it's going to stay there i don't also don't see how it's going to stay there so i don't mind i think your suggestion of the legs over top of the ready rod or something might be better can you tilt the camera up please dave like there's no hook on here eh there's no no hook no yeah. uh there, yeah. is that another ring What's that, that ring there ring. is that bungee up the top or here no? or up here no no he's talking up here. up here right yeah what's all this yeah. stuff in here um not sure what those are for. It's not. They were there before okay. deployment as well. So. And you're saying the little puck feet on on this guy were.